all right guys so for today's video i'm going to be showing you how to replace the rubber bell on the jemmy 2010 freddy krueger's arm raise so um keep in mind this is a 2011 model i'm pretty sure the arm raise is the same on the 2010 models but um yeah so first thing you're going to want to do is um well, I've taken this apart before because uh, obviously before uh, making this video, that's what I did. So you're gonna wanna pick or slide this, hold on, slide this uh, sh sleeve up. So once you do that, um, hold on, let me pull it up more. Pull it all the way up. Um, be careful that you don't rip any wires because the wires are um, for the arm and the feet, uh, claw movement are right here. And there's a motor that comes down here and then this foam piece holds it in. <clears throat> so anyways, when you pull it up, you're going to see this foam piece and there's actually going to be uh, this white cloth. Or if you have a 2010 model, I'm pretty sure it's a black cloth. Um, but anyways, you're going to want to pull this down to make sure you do not pull any of the wires, which the wires are on this side. Um, just, just be careful. So, yeah, it should look like this. Wait. Pull it down. So this is the piece that makes the arm raise and that's connected to this thing. Um, so what I already did before making this video is I unscrewed the screw here. So basically when you open this, there, you, there's going to be like a little com uh, compartment right here covering this. Um, and you're going to want to unscrew it and then it... you. It's really simple. You just take that off. It, it comes off. Uh, I put it on my uh, bench for now. But anyways. So. Basically what you're going to want to do. Is take this belt out. And. For, the reason why. Um, the arm always slips down. After it's done raising up. Is because the belt is going bad. Um, I don't think it's because the gears are going bad because I have um, I have tried different belts on this Sometimes the arm stays up and on the more loose belts. It it doesn't stay up. So anyways um, Since you're gonna replace this belt uh, just get a screwdriver or whatever um, and kind of Pluck this old belt out. It's kind of hard to okay. I got it uh, So yeah, you're going to pull it out like that. Um, here's for a size comparison. And this is the new belt I'm going to be using. Um, and this is the old belt. So to get these belts, you can either order them online or you can um, just go to any home improvement store. Look for the O-rings and try to find the, the exact size like this. Um, yeah. And this is also that cover that I was talking about. So anyways, with your brand new belt or your O-ring, whatever you want to call it, um, it's going to be very thick and very tight when you first get these. So I what I recommend doing is like stretching these out a bit. Um, just, yeah, stretch them out kind of, but not too much. Um, anyway, so I kind of stretched it out already, so... What you're going to want to do to put this belt in is you're going to want to put it back there like that. Get it on right here, this small one. And then when it's like this, you're going to push it like back because this thing spins. Um, hold on, let me try to... It's hard to do it with one hand. So, let me... I don't want to cut this video out because I don't want people to get confused, but... Damn it, it keeps coming off. Um, never, by the way, never put any type of lube on this uh, rubber belt. Okay. 
Okay, damn it. So you guys probably get what I mean. Um, it's easier with two hands to do, but you have to get uh, you have to put the rubber belt on this small one first, and then you kind of just roll it back. Like you basically have to get it on both of these, and um, I'll get back when I get this on. So yeah, I don't want to waste time. So basically, once you've got it on. Um, it's going to be like this, and when it's on, you're going to want to roll it back and kind of, you know, roll it up, try to get it in there. Um, mine's in there pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and test them out and show you guys. So, yeah. I'm your nightmare. Of it's on the phrase where it doesn't raise arm. Um, anyways, look at the arm. You have nothing to worry about. This won't hurt one little bit. So, um, yeah, if, if yours is going up, like, not that much, but it's still staying up, you're going to want to stretch this belt out, belt out more. But, I mean, if you leave it in there like that, um, over time, it'll start to, you know, wear out kind of and get used to this. And then it'll start to go up, you know, all the way up and stay there. But anyways, um, basically to put it back together, you're just going to want to get this and, you know, screw it back in. Um, so I guess that's it for today's video. And yeah, guys, hope this helped and helped and bye.